Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to Fandom Fridays. Today is Jolly Lolly and Horcrux, and I'm going to stamp some gold over it. I started off with Danny Digit's Glitter Be Gone. I'm going to be talking about that here in a little bit. And L'Oreal's Jolly Lolly, which is a red jelly polish. And I am topping it off with Posh Top Coat when I get done. And I'll also be using the Starly Horcrux today. So I'm going to do a jelly sandwich with the Jolly Lolly and Horcrux. And I'm going to end up having to do three rounds because, you know, jelly polishes are just, you know, they're like that. So I'm capping my tip and making sure that, you know, I've got that first layer on. And then I'm going to go in with my first layer of Horcrux, just a beautiful, like, iridescent flaky, and another coat of Jolly Lolly. Capping my tips because, you know, them jellies are so sheer. And then another coat of Horcrux. I really was looking forward to playing this with this one. And this looks so much more pink on screen than it did in real life. In real life, it was really, really red. So there we go with another coat of Jolly Lolly. I think I just like saying Jolly Lolly. So here's my swatch photo of just this part of the manicure. Very pretty. And I'm going to be stamping with Teenage Dream BMP 101, I believe that's it, and my Bundle Monster, I mean my Big Beauty Big Bang Stamper, and the Cold Diary NS03, which is their gold stamp and polish. And I'll be using my clear jelly scraper today. Now I'm just going to use all these images over here in this corner pretty much, and it's like the diamonds and gems and jewels, and I just really wanted to do play with this plate, really. I didn't have like an idea of a manicure I wanted to do. I just wanted to do some playing. And you know, that's kind of what you do after you've worn a manicure, like I did with this one for a couple of days, and just decided, okay, well before I take it off, let me do something. So I decided I would just play with this plate, and the images were etched really nice. I like that. Um, this is my first plate like this from Bundle Monster, you know, that was in the bow, I, I don't know, a bow series, I guess. So I'm just plopping these little images all willy-nilly all over my nails. Um, I am doing all of them. Just playing. And I am using tape in between just to get off these um, excess pieces that I don't want on my manicure. It does, it's a little time consuming, but, you know, if that's the look you're going for, then all is good, right? Yes. But I really did like this plate. I enjoyed it. I wanted to use some of the other images, but I figured it kind of didn't go with the gems. So I, I will save playing with those other images for another time. So back to the Danny Digits Glitter Be Gone. I have been asked what my favorite peel off base coat is, and this is my favorite one Glitter Be Gone. It's um, reasonably priced. It is made by an indie maker, and you know, like Unt is ten dollars or more a bottle, and the Dainty Digits, I believe it's going for four, but it's no longer called Dainty Digits. It's by Baby Girl Lacquer now. I will try to remember to leave a link down below if you would like to go check that out. She also makes a product called Clearly Marvelous, which is for water marbling where you want the clear rings. Um, you know, so I think she's got a bundle on her uh, store site where you can, you know, get them together. But I really do, I'm on probably my fourth or fifth bottle of the Glitter Appeal or Glitter Be Gone or whatever you want to call it. It's just amazing stuff. And if I remember, I will try to remember to do a video doing a peel off. You know, it might be just a quick little add-on video here at some point. Because um, I did use it for this manicure, so maybe I'll remember to film that and plop that out there one day. Um, I do use two coats of it when I use it, and normally a manicure will last me one or two days, which is really all I'm looking for in a manicure normally. If you want it to last longer, I would recommend just using one coat and, you know, just do it that way. Um, it will be a little harder to get off, but that's, you know, it's still, you can still get it off with one coat. I do the two. And another tip too is you could use like a regular base coat and then you do one coat of the Glitter Be Gone and then do your regular manicure and top coat and all that. And then, you know, it should have a little bit better longevity 
using it that way. So I hope this helps anyone that was, you know, wondering. I do own Unt, and I've also got one from NYC that I've used, and I've had a Sally Hansen one, and, you know, a lot of them work just fine. In fact, I haven't found one that doesn't work. It's just you might need two or three coats of it to, you know, get the effect that you're wanting. But I found with my last bottle of Unt, I had to use two coats of it too. So for $10 a bottle, I would rather go ahead and go with this other one and give it a shot. So we're wrapping up this manicure. Got it all done. I'm fixing to show you my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.